you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Yo, how is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, as you probably guessed, we are going to be talking about the new uh, weekly objectives for both Anderson Taliska, sorry, not both, but Anderson Taliska, Emre Chan. Ben Arthur. Uh, we're not going to be talking about Timothy Way because it's pretty easy to do. You just have to score in four separate squad battles wins using players from the M uh, from the US. Sorry, you know, just whack a Pulisic in your team and go and play some prof professional difficulty uh, uh, squad battles. It's not difficult at all. Now these three are a little bit more advanced. Now I've already done Taliska, which is why I've started making the video right now uh, because they're pretty easy when you uh, so they're not easy to win. But they're pretty easy to do quicker uh, with with a few different like helping hands here or there. So uh, as you see here, we've already done Anderson Taliska. Uh, so he has been completed. Uh, he was quite quick. It's currently about midnight right now on Friday, and I've been playing for a few hours. So he's he was completed quite quickly, which I'm I'm glad we've completed now because uh, he's a very nice looking card, and I think he looks pretty dope. Uh, so that's really really cool. Now you'll notice that I have done six out of the eight games on Ben Arthur as well, and I haven't played more games with a French team. You can actually do Ben Arthur by by just subbing in players from France. It's really easy. Now, this is the Bris Silver squad that I used to do uh, Taliska. And I was subbing in uh, this guy mainly. This guy scored me a bunch of goals. Uh, this guy scored a few goals for me as well. Um, I was mainly just subbing in those guys, bringing them on and uh, using this Bris Silver team. And it worked for both. So you don't have to score with the Bris Silvers. You just have to win when you start with 11 Bris Silvers. And then you can go ahead and sub on anyone you want. So it works the same with Germany as well. Uh, just have 11 German Silver players and then sub on French players and you kill two birds with one stone essentially uh that is what i advise to you guys now a lot of people are having team names like stuff like uh first goal rage quit and stuff like that you can try that that might help you get it a little bit quicker if you go and score like a kickoff boost goal against somebody and then they quit uh because i see your team name or vice versa you know it might make things a lot quicker personally if i was going one or two goals down with silvers it's very difficult to even with like good silvers like i said this guy quite good um you know, I paid 32,000 coins for this Cristiano guy who's actually really good as well. Um, even with silvers or even with good silvers, it's very difficult to claw back a victory uh, if you go two or three goals down because they just don't work the way that goal players do on this game. So if I were you, what I'd do is I would... Uh, I would honestly, if you go two or three goals down, just quit the games and go and start new ones because the chances are you come up against someone that's not very good at the game straight after um, because a lot of people are trying to get these cards. So that is my advice to you guys. In terms of the way that I've set my teams up for like the Brasilva and I'll do the same for the Germany, uh, go with a really nice skillful cam or someone that's got like half decent dribbling stats and whatnot and go with a pacey striker with a bit of strength. So Cristiano is perfect. Uh, go with, you know, pacey wingers and just go for it basically. Uh, balls to the wall attack. Just do your best to attack 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 um and i think you guys will be pretty solid uh, it's difficult because you know silver goalies are pretty bad silver defenders are pretty bad as well so it's really difficult to defend in my opinion um but if you go balls to the wall attack the chances are your opponent isn't going to be able to defend very well uh, and you might get yourself the victory there usually what i was doing was i was uh, scoring a goal and then bringing on my silvers uh this guy i got I brought on a few times as well he was a decent sub at center mid um when players run out of stamina because by the way silvers don't always seem to have very good stamina which kind of sucks but uh i would score a goal and then do it because the chances are if you score a goal and pause the game they're gonna quit as well if they're just not feeling it or, or they just don't think that they're gonna beat you they'll quit too so that's probably my best advice if you guys are looking to to what to do in terms of like uh pausing the game and whatnot because i know a lot of people are doing this whole fun quitting thing which i think by the way is very very immature and very toxic uh, i think it's the stupidest thing in the, in the game this whole skill quitting thing is so stupid in my opinion um but a lot of people have been doing it and, and and I think it's really like it, it's ruining the experience for a lot of people uh, but a lot of people have been doing it sadly um, so I'd score a goal just to be safe because if you if you nil nil some people might just be like you know what I'm not going to win I'm just going to quit because people are toxic like that uh, but that is my advice to you guys I've got some clips as well from the games that I played but my advice is just build you know the best possible team that you can um, obviously coins might be a bit of an issue for you guys my team's like 70,000 coins though so if you've got like 70k or something like that um, lying about out then hey man like my team isn't that expensive it's like 70 80k so 
Uh, I know a lot of people will have that many coins, but I think it's worth it to invest a, a bunch of coins into getting a player like this. And I don't think you'll lose too many if you do it quickly. Like, for example, if I'm going to go ahead and sell these players right now, uh, is Cristiano still extinct? He is. So I can list up Cristiano for 32,500 coins, and I've only lost tax. Uh, so like this guy, I actually didn't buy this guy. I, I had him already in the club, and he's going for about like 1.7k maybe. So I can list these guys up, and uh, and I won't make a loss. It's mainly the defenders that are going for a lot. Uh, not surprisingly, you know, there's not a whole lot of good silver defenders, so you got to try and get the best ones you can. So, you know, this guy I'll list up for like a 7k buy now and like a, a 6,000 coin start price. We'll just see if he sells. Same with the other guy. I think the other guys are roughly the similar price. So if you do it quickly, you won't lose a whole lot of coins on your players, in my opinion. And uh, and I think just go for it. Try and kill two birds, one stone. And, and, and that is my best possible advice to you guys. Obviously, like if you're on Xbox, there's some stupid like quitting glitches and whatnot. I don't condone that. I think it's stupid as well. Just play the games. It's worth it. The grind is worth it because when you know you've earned a card, it feels a lot better than if you've just cheesed your way to it. So that is my personal advice. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it was hope, uh, helpful to you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave some clips of some of the games I played because I thought they were pretty funny. I thought I'd just leave them in for you guys because uh, there is some pretty funny clips in there of like silly goal line clearances and whatnot. So I thought you might enjoy those. Uh, let me know if you want more videos like this. Uh, I'm down to make more videos on like weekly objectives and stuff like that. Just completing them uh, easier and stuff like that. So let me know down below if you want to see more videos like that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later later. And we're putting the opposition up here as 4-3-3 as well. And then could it be more of this with a chance to go into the lead now? It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. We'll now have to see whether... The and does the job with the penalty. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith welcoming you to this big game today. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. Cristiano! It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been steered through. Got the opposition. And here's the shot. He scored! Fantastic start. Really quick off the attack into. The shot's on. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Dentinho! Oh, what a fine goal! It's a good cross. Full on the frame of the goal. To take the lead. Well, they might nickname him Luckier. He's in. And it's a shot now. Fantastic save. Ventinho. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? It's gone in, but... Cristiano! Well, he scored. It's a big moment for them in the match. They've 